All right, how are we doing so far? Are we enjoying these holiday craft kits? I sure hope so. Um, I think they're a lot of fun. You know, they're pretty good, pretty easy. They are a little time consuming, some of them, but they're fun, fun to give away for gifts, fun to uh, use to decorate your house, okay? You decorate your bedroom. I know when I was a kid, I loved, loved, loved getting Christmas lights. We always had like an extra string of Christmas lights and I loved hanging them in my bedroom around the Christmas time. I'd leave them on all night long. I don't know, I just loved it. Okay, craft kit number four. We're gonna be making some uh, clothespin snowmen. All right, let's empty out our kit and see what we got. Okay. So you're gonna have three clothespins, okay? Inside this is some white paint. And here are little embellishments. You got some eyes and red noses. You got some pieces of ribbon and you got a paintbrush, okay? So what we're going to do, open up the paint. Again, be careful with that lid and you can actually use the paint that's on that lid and you're gonna take the clothespins and we're gonna paint them all white. All right, just paint the entire thing white one at a time. Try and get all little corners, all little nooks and crannies. You're gonna get a little dirty on this, but that's okay. That's the fun of arts and crafts, getting paint on yourself. And the great thing about this paint is it washes off your hands really well. Okay, so I'm gonna put a coat on there. These might take a couple coats. Get the front, get the back, just so it looks well, looks well covered. All right, spread it out really thin, or spread it out there so you don't have globs of it. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, okay, I'm gonna set it over here, set it up just like that, let it dry, and do the next one. Okay, you're gonna do all three like that. Just cover them with paint. I'm gonna let you Go and paint all three of your clothespins. You can let them dry for a few minutes in between each coat. You're gonna to wanna to do a couple coats and you're gonna get them all nice and white. Just like fresh fallen snow, which we haven't had a lot of snow yet, have we? We had one morning that we woke up with snow. That's okay. Hopefully we'll have a white Christmas. Okay, so go ahead and paint your three clothespins with that white. And we'll come back when you're all done. Okay, so we painted all three of the clothespins. Now, I'm going to show you, you have a couple options here. If you open up your little... I'm going to slide the paint aside. Inside your little package here, let's empty everything out so we can see what's in there. You're going to have some glue dots or glue squares that you'll see. And you're also going to have some red fuzzy noses and some eyes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my paintbrush. I'm going to dip. Oh, that's not what I'm going to do. That's not glue, that's paint. That's paint. All right, so what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna take my glue stick and I'm gonna rub the eye. This is how I do for the little things, okay? I put it right on the glue stick and then I just kind of run it across there. So now I'm gonna put one eye on it. Now when you put the eyes on, you're gonna see the eyes are kind of big. So you don't wanna put it, you kinda wanna put it so the eye is hanging off of it a little bit, okay? Put that down, take my other eye, slide it across the glue stick. Oops, I did a little too hard. It dug into the glue stick. Don't do it too hard, okay? Okay, what you can also do is you could take the tip of your paintbrush 
and kind of scrape off a little bit of the glue stick okay to the on the end of the paintbrush okay so you get a little glob of it right see put a little glob on the back there and I'm gonna put that onto the clothespin grab another eye and put the other eye next to it okay now I got two googly eyes on my clothespin okay same thing here you can use these glue dots I happen to think that these glue dots are just too big for all of this so I'm not even gonna I'm gonna suggest you don't even use these they're just too big for everything so what again what I'm gonna do is take the end of my paintbrush okay pointy end and scrape a little bit of glue off the glue stick another glob of it okay I'm gonna put it right where the nose should go take my big red nose here now I've got <laughs> two eyes and a nose yeah it did it just made me giggle that's fine that's a good thing you always want your crafts to make you giggle okay then I said on the packet that you're gonna need a black marker okay this is this is up to you now what you can do actually let me finish this and I'll show you first what I'm gonna do is take this ribbon and we're gonna kind of use this as a scarf okay to make it look like he's wearing a scarf all right I'm gonna cross it in front of him get it around there so it's kind of tight okay now this is the tricky part because you got to hold this again i'm going to get a glob of glue off and you do have glue do we have glue left over no we don't we use it all in our we use it all in our green slime okay so i got another glob of glue on the back here i'm just going to put it on the scarf around his neck okay just like oh, did i get it no I need to get a little more glue can use your finger sometimes it's just easier to scrape it with your finger okay I'm gonna put it on there I'm gonna pull the scarf tight and there you go okay now he's wearing a scarf you can adjust it a little bit so it's not sticking out so much okay so it kind of looks like that now he's got a scarf on and you can use the black marker if you want to just draw some buttons on his body okay there you go now another option you can do if you want instead of using the googly eyes let's put I'm gonna get some glue I'm gonna stick a nose on this one I'm gonna put the nose on first and then you can draw if you want you can draw whatever kind of eyes you want that's easier if you have other colored markers give them blue eyes give them green eyes okay you can even draw a smile on him if you want I think they're cuter without the smiles but that's up to you and again I'm going to draw the buttons you can really do whatever you want and decorate this however you want okay we just gave you a couple options here now the fun part you're probably asking yourself why why would I paint a clothespin and put eyes and noses on them okay well this is the fun thing you can do so I have here I have a picture that I took with me my mom and my dad this is a couple Christmases ago we were making our pit doggy that we eat on Christmas okay and you can use it as a picture stand so a lot of times you get um, those holiday pictures. People send you the picture cards. Look how nice. How cute is that? Okay. Or, oh wait, let's keep that one in there. Okay. You got to make sure too that you kind of got this centered so it's not all lopsided. Okay. It's not even. It'll fall over. Or, you know, you get a Christmas card in the mail. You get a lot of Christmas cards this time of year if you want another fun way to um, display them.
Okay, you do that. Actually, what I do, this is a little bit heavier because it's a real heavy card. You can take two of them and do that. And there you go. So, snowman clothespin. There you have it. I hope you've enjoyed doing these holiday craft kits with us. Thank you so much for being a part of it. And I want to say to everybody, please stay safe and have a fun and very Merry Christmas and also a Happy New Year. Okay, come back and visit us next year.